Hello guys, thank you so much for joining me today. The video, this video today is the part two of the subject we've begun to tackle last video, which is <clears throat> understanding the difference between being guilty and being responsible. And I mean by that, understanding the following sentence, I am not guilty in any way about events that happened to me in the past, but I am totally responsible for my reaction to these past and present events. There is no real healing process without understanding this subject. Stay with me and put on your seat bell. It will be a fast drive. For the best practical advice and knowledge on how to heal from emotional abuse, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post videos every Wednesday. So today, the, the last time we spoke, or I spoke, let's say, we talked about how much people can use different methods to understand the difference between guilty and responsible the many different methods to get this stage done. For me, it was with a guided affective Im uh, imagery. Um, for others, conventional therapy will do the trick. It is totally depending on who you are. Please, if you didn't already print the brainstorming dashboard, go for it. The link to my resource library is also below. Get the password and search for the document, print it, and begin to work on it. Please comment below about subject you are struggling um, on your healing process, and I will be really happy to treat the subject on future videos. So today, we are trying to give you an idea about how much this stage is tricky at the beginning of the healing process. Not only internally, and I mean by that in front of our mirror, but also how much society is missing the difference between victim blaming and guilt and in the second part, being responsible, which is two very, very different problems. So here's a story about something that happened to me yesterday night. I am French native, so I'm also checking French-speaking Facebook groups on the subject of emotional abuse and empaths. And yesterday, one of the women um, talk about the fact she is married but she is also awfully miserable incredibly unhappy and totally dependent on her husband a spouse who has children from past relationship told her that his children will always come first which let's be honest is a reaction you would like to expect from any father on earth, but it hurt her tremendously. This woman is obviously suffering from serious emotional wounds and she is literally drowning in her own private hell. So I was really honest and I told her that the problem is not about him. She needs to solve her emotional wounds. She needs to grieve and put that behind her. She needs to learn about well-being. She needs to take back the control of her life. And again, I really try to explain the difference between being guilty and being responsible. Telling her she is absolutely not guilty for any kind of events that provoke those emotional wounds. But she is totally responsible for the way she is reacting right now to those events. 
She is responsible for healing her emotional wounds. Now, the most important part of the story is not her. It's not about her. But it's about someone else. Someone in the group was very critical of my answer, telling me that I was victim blaming, which is a huge misconception in our society and the world of healing from emotional abuse. We are simply missing the point. People are missing the difference between being guilty and being responsible. And the main problem is that there is no healing process without solving this specific step. Another very important point is the fact that taking responsibility for my actual well-being and my reaction to past and present events doesn't in any way reduce the fact I was abused or I was hurt. This is also something that stops victims in their tracks. Please visit my official Facebook page, the link is below, which is about general topics, topics on subjects of eating from emotional abuse. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it, subscribe and share it with your friends. If you find it helpful and even if not, please comment below and leave your feedback. It will help me improve next time and give me material for my next videos. Thank you so very much for joining me today and have a beautiful day. Bye bye.